Hi everyone and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today another one from our friends over at the Willet Distillery. This is Old Barnstown. So the name Bardstown actually comes from a, uh, the name of a small town in Kentucky. Uh, happens to be where the uh, Willet Distillery is located. And it's just a lovely little town by the way. Uh, I love going down there to camp just, uh, you know, or you know, around the fall, you know, to visit some of the distilleries, Willet in particular. But, um, very nice little town. Uh, this one here is bottled at 101 proof, so 50.5% alcohol. This would, uh, would make Jimmy Russell proud, I'm sure. Mmm. -hmm. Kind of a light nose here. Some definite vanilla. Hmm. Maybe a little caramel. Also quite nutty. Now as this one's allowed to open up in the glass a little bit, can I get an, uh, maybe a light note of uh, some cherries or something. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, on the palate here. Good easy drinking bourbon, not a ton of character. But uh you have a nice soft woodiness, some nice uh, nutmeg and cinnamon spices. Mm. Again, a bit of vanilla in here. And the grain, that corn kind of comes through a little bit, though it's not as sweet as, uh, as some bourbons can be. Finish is medium length. Those spices do linger for a while. You get a little bit of that heat from the higher proof on this one, but not too much. As it fades, you're kind of left with a little bit of that nutmeg on the palate there. Alright, so on the nose for this one, definitely had that good signature bourbon vanilla in there. Um, you know, it had, had some nice nuttier notes to it as well. Um, you know, slight hint of caramel, just a little bit of cherry. Uh, nice nose. I'm going to go ahead and give the nose on this one 20.5 points. On the palate, some nice woodiness, a little more vanilla. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more from this one on the, uh, on the palate, but... Um, you know, but still not, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing to scoff at here for a you know, 24 or $27 bourbon. Um, but all things being equal, I would say, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and give the, uh, the, the, give the taste on this one 19 points. Finish was medium length. Those spices had hung on for a little while. That nutmeg, that vanilla in there. Um, you know, left you with a nice flavor on the palate there. I'm going to go ahead and give the finish 19.5 points. And the overall balance, I'm going to put at 21. I thought, it was, I thought the flavors in this were uh, were, were fairly well balanced. Um, you know, again, I was just looking for a little bit, uh, a little bit more depth of flavor. You know, this one. I, I, don't, I don't know how long this one has been aged. There's no age statement on this. I think it used to be a uh, a 10 year old bottling, but um, I don't know. Uh, I, I obviously, you know. It's not guaranteed anymore. Uh, it does have a nice, rich, full flavor or uh, color. Pardon me. You know, so I I can assume, of you know, either either a deep char on the barrel or or a fair amount of years uh, in that barrel. You know, since for a bourbon they're not allowed to add any of this uh, any of that coloring. That all comes from the wood. So again, I guess I was just hoping for a little bit more uh, depth of flavor, a little more character, but. Um, but still very, very good. I would consider this to be a, 
A good starter bourbon for someone just getting into bourbons. But anyway, that's going to leave us with an overall score of 80 points for this old Barnstown. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section down below. And then, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a member. And then after you do, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you get notifications of new videos that come out. I do have one come out every weekend, and I'd hate for you to miss one. So go ahead and do that for me, and I will see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.